Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Captures. We expect that today's episode will excite, thrill, and leave you with chills, in a good way, of course. And, uh, oh, Merry Christmas to you. Without wasting much time, let's jump right into it. Antarctica has been the center of many conspiracy theories with people speculating about hidden secrets. In this clip, a brave explorer with a metal detector stumbled upon a mystery hidden beneath the frozen surface. The signals from the detector led him and his team to a massive head tucked away in the ice, a sight that was both extraordinary and puzzling. The frozen face showed features that looked like those of a living being, eyes that once saw a world unknown, a nose crafted by nature and a wide open mouth revealing a vibrant orange tongue frozen in time. The meaning behind this discovery and how it's linked to the metal detector's guidance is still a puzzle, making Antarctica's secrets even more intriguing. Is the government hiding something from us? Like the Antarctic conspiracies, there are stories about the government already having contact with extraterrestrial beings that might be proof. This guy took euro and dollar bills and put them under a microscope, and what he discovered was quite strange. Hidden from the human eyes were drawings of alien-looking creatures and flying saucers. This revelation sparked conspiracy theories suggesting secret government contact with extraterrestrial beings. The covert presence of such images on currency raises questions about the hidden motives of those in power. Why embed depictions of extraterrestrial beings and UFOs into the very fabric of our financial system? Could it be a discreet acknowledgement of dealings with otherworldly forces, or perhaps a subtle nod to the enduring mysteries that surround us? Anyone with a hundred dollar bill to confirm this, by the way? As if we haven't had enough strange things going on, this trail camera captured this bizarre footage. There, in the dead of the night, were these huge creatures standing on a ledge. Although one might initially think they could be frogs, these creatures defy the typical proportions of amphibians. Their disturbingly human-like appearance as they crouch on the ledge creates an eerie feeling. As these beings leap off the ledge in a way that resembles frogs, the mystery deepens. Are these figures part of an elaborate prank, with humans dressing up in costumes to play on the fears of anyone who comes across the footage, or is there a chance that these entities are more than just a masquerade? But some think that these could be skinwalkers, shape-shifting creatures. The unsettling uncertainty that hangs over this trail camera footage leaves us with persistent questions in the shadows of the unexplained. What, indeed, is the genuine nature of these mysterious nocturnal beings? Under the vast canvas of the Chinese sky, a breathtaking spectacle unfolded, a sight that seemed to be taken from the realms of myth and fantasy. High above, silhouetted against the celestial expanse, figures with wings graced the heavens. In the cultural language, these ethereal beings are often described as angels, messengers from the celestial realms. The sheer beauty of the scene prompts contemplation of its significance. Does this celestial display carry a deeper meaning? Cultural interpretations may vary from the mystical and the supernatural to artistic and symbolic expressions. During a late night drive, a group of guys decided to take a shortcut through the woods. However, things took a spooky turn when they encountered a strange creature emerging from the trees. The creature had tangled dark fur and looked both ugly and enormous. As soon as they saw it, they quickly put the car in reverse and drove away. Once the footage surfaced online, people had different explanations. Some thought it might be a bear with mange disease because its fur seemed off. On the other hand, the guys who experienced it believed they came face to face with a werewolf. 
We don't know for sure what the creature could be, but I'm pretty sure these guys won't be taking any more shortcuts through the woods after this encounter. While on a camping trip at the Meeks Cabin Reservoir campground, some folks stumbled upon what appeared to be Bigfoot tracks. These tracks were quite clear and seemed fresh, showing distinct toes and all. Interestingly, this area has been known for various Bigfoot sightings. The person who shared the image mentioned that his sister had a run-in with a Bigfoot while camping in the same area. She was a bit shaken by the experience and chose not to share the details with anyone. What are your thoughts on these Bigfoot tracks? If you've made it this far, could you please hit the like button, subscribe, and even drop a comment if you haven't already. It goes a long way to make it possible to create more videos for you. Thank you for doing so. Moving back to the day's episode. While going out one night, an adventurer's quest for the mysterious led to a chilling encounter with the unknown. In the darkness of an empty house, a spooky figure showed up, standing like a guard in the shadows. It was really big and mysterious, especially with its glowing eyes that seemed to cut through the night. The unsettling presence of this colossal silhouette gave rise to speculation. Among the interpretations circulating, some said this figure might be none other than the elusive and mythical creature known as Bigfoot. Can you imagine stumbling upon that in an abandoned place? Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. What's your take on this mysterious encounter? In the night sky, someone came across a celestial show that couldn't be easily explained. At first, the shiny dots in the sky seemed like regular stars. However, they started moving together in a way that didn't match the usual patterns of planes. These mysterious lights got people guessing, making the observer think that what they were seeing might not be something from Earth, but possibly an unidentified flying object. The unique arrangement and synchronized movement of the lights made this flying mystery quite different from ordinary things in the sky. Are we witnessing extraterrestrial visitors, or is there some secret human tech that we don't know of? Amidst laughter and splashes, we see two friends enjoying what looks like a carefree moment in the pool. Little did they know an unexpected guest would make its presence felt. As the camera rolled, Capturing the joyous occasion, an ordinary chair in the background seemingly defied the laws of physics. It moved on its own, triggering an immediate shift in the atmosphere. The startled gazes of the two friends betrayed a mix of surprise and fear as they confronted the unexplained movement. The chair's spontaneous shift, unaided by any visible force, left the possibility of a ghostly presence lingering in the air. In the serene ambience of the poolside, an encounter with the supernatural added an eerie twist to their otherwise lighthearted day. What would you have done in this situation? Curiosity often leads us to unexpected discoveries, and for this man, a seemingly ordinary pit turned into a portal to the unknown. As he peered into its depths, the revelation was both perplexing and intriguing. Instead of the expected darkness, a series of stairs unfolded, leading into an underground realm illuminated by mysterious lights. The man wisely hesitates, deciding not to descend into the unknown depths, but the question lingers. What lies beyond those dimly lit stairs? Is it a clandestine facility, a secret society's meeting place, or just a forgotten storage space with a quirky lighting setup? In the dead of night, the unsettling cries of goats pierced the silence, alerting their caretakers to a bizarre and distressing sight. Upon arrival, the men were met with an eerie scene, an unidentified dark creature entwined around one of the goats. 
wrestling with the mysterious being proved to be a challenging task, requiring considerable effort to detach it from the distressed animal. The cryptic nature of the creature raises a multitude of questions. What kind of entity could exhibit such behavior? It neither conformed to the typical characteristics of a snake nor any familiar nocturnal creature. Is it a creature of folklore, a shapeshifter, or perhaps a creature from the depths of the unknown? In a surreal moment caught on live TV, a reporter found herself at the center of a bizarre occurrence that left viewers questioning reality. As the reporter continues to speak, the man standing behind her seemingly plucks her from the scene, holding what appears to be a lifeless image. The transition from human to cardboard defies logical explanation, prompting speculation about glitches in the matrix or hidden dimensions. What are the higher ups concealing from the public? Is this a mere technological hiccup? an elaborate prank, or perhaps an inadvertent revelation of a reality-bending secret. My money is on a prank, but I want it to be a glitch too. What do you think? Before we move on to the next video, just another reminder. If you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now. I wouldn't want to send a Bigfoot after you. And don't forget to share with your friends and family as well. Thank you very much. In a chilling revelation captured on footage from years ago, an elderly woman's farmland became the eerie backdrop for a mysterious encounter. Suspecting that someone or something was clandestinely lurking around her property, the woman decided to record the unsettling spectacle. The video, dating back to the 90s and shrouded in the limitations of the era's technology, reveals a humanoid figure slinking surreptitiously through the landscape. According to the woman, the creature bore a reptilian visage, adding an extra layer of intrigue and fear to the already unsettling scenario. The blurry footage leaves much to the imagination, inviting speculation and raising questions about the nature of the enigmatic being that ventured onto the old woman's farmland. I want to believe this is very true, but this is from the 90s, right? How many individuals had cameras back then? Perhaps I'm just being a killjoy and a skeptic. Never mind me. In a strange twist of events, someone exploring a map stumbled upon a fascinating discovery. When zooming in on a specific location, they found a peculiar sight, a room with chairs arranged in a circle. At the center of the room, there was a mysterious object floating, bathed in a strange glow coming from an opening directly above it. The identity of the floating thing remained unclear, wrapped in mystery and leading to guesses about where it came from and what it was for. The odd setup of chairs and the eerie light created a surreal atmosphere in the room, making the observer think about the hidden mysteries in this peculiar place. Under the vast expanse of the night sky, a group of onlookers were treated to an unusual celestial display. As they gazed upward, their attention was captivated by the presence of three radiant orbs suspended in the darkness. To add to the mystique, a fourth luminous sphere manifested itself positioned below the others. The sudden and mysterious appearance led to lots of speculation among the observers. Many thought that these glowing things might be unidentified flying objects. The line between regular space events and the chance of something from outer space happening was unclear, making the onlookers think about the mysteries hidden in the cosmic show. In a creepy incident caught on a home security camera, homeowners discovered an eerie and mysterious presence. The 
footage showed a strange pale creature on the ground contorting itself in a way that resembled a human but bent backwards unnaturally, moving on both hands and legs. The spooky scene left the homeowners and surely anyone who saw the video feeling uneasy. The mysterious creature and its strange movements raised questions about where it came from and what it was up to, adding an unsettling air of mystery to the incident. The feeling of not knowing hangs over the footage, making viewers try to make sense of the strange encounter caught by the watchful home security system. In a spine-chilling video, a mysterious and formidable creature was captured at Ranko Lake. The lake, not previously known for having reptiles, became the surprising backdrop for a creature that has sparked speculations reminiscent of dinosaurs. The footage shows a creature submerged in the water, its form and movements reminding viewers of the prehistoric giants that once walked the earth. The person who recorded the video believes the creature looks a lot like a dinosaur. This unexpected encounter raises interesting questions about the existence of creatures that were long thought to be extinct. The eerie footage adds an element of mystery to Ranko Lake, inviting speculation and curiosity about what secrets might be hidden beneath its waters. In a heartwarming and somewhat perplexing video, a man was seen casually sitting on a log in the woods right next to a bear. The astonishing part? The bear appeared remarkably calm and unbothered by the man's presence, even allowing him to lean on it. The chemistry between the man and bear suggests a level of familiarity and comfort that defies the typical expectations of human-wildlife interactions. Speculation arises, with some suggesting that the man might have raised the bear from a young age, fostering a unique bond between them. Yet at the back of our minds, a lasting curiosity remains. What could happen if the bear's wild instincts were to suddenly emerge? Would you ever consider bringing your car to a screeching halt in the middle of a highway just before you spotted a shirtless man in the woods from a distance? Personally, I wouldn't take that risk. But the person behind this footage has a different perspective. He believed it was a noble thing to do and without hesitation parked his car, set his camera rolling, and embarked on a mission to reach the man. He called out hoping to have an intelligent conversation with the man, but little did he know that his expectations would be shattered in an instant. Hey, how you doing? Oh, oh just some cruisers, man. That's crazy. He's crying like... What's up, dude? The man started moving, but not by walking or any recognizable means. No, the shirtless man crawled towards him, limbs trembling. Like a ghastly zombie from reminiscent nightmares, and also he was contorted. The protagonist, who had gone to offer his help, soon realized that he was but an ordinary man, and just like a thunderbolt, his survival instincts kicked into high gear. With no time to spare, he ran for his dear life, heart-pounding, fueled by pure adrenaline. Now, let me pose this question to you. What would you have done in that bone-chilling situation? When this image was sent to us, I thought we were dealing with a stick bug. That was at least until I took a critical look at the whole image and realized it was neither a stick bug nor the size of one. I've no idea why I thought that, because we can see a coyote running away from it. The owner of the trail camera was equally perplexed by the footage. They couldn't make sense of what they were seeing and decided to seek answers. After conducting extensive research for days, they came up empty-handed. There doesn't seem to be any mythical creature resembling this peculiar being. Could this be an entirely new form of otherworldly creature? Where did it come from? Why is it here? What does it want? And most intriguingly, why is the coyote running? Is this creature a threat to coyotes, or does it have a taste for even humans? The truth is, we simply don't know. However, our quest for answers won't cease until we have unraveled this enigma. Rest assured, once we uncover the mystery, we'll dedicate an entire video to it.
If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, now is the perfect time to join the adventure. Subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell as well, so you'll be the first to know when we upload the exclusive new videos. You think that was disturbing? Well, it pales compared to what we will show you next. What would you say about this trail cam's footage of a man weirdly moving through the forest? On second thought, no, that's definitely not how humans move. If you look closely at the trail cam footage, a figure that resembles a man suddenly emerges from the darkness moving in an unsettling way. He heads to where the trail cam is stationed. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thought he was rocking back and forth unnaturally whilst moving. As the figure, or man, or whatever you might think it is, gets closer, we can see that he's actually moving along the ground on his knees instead of on his feet. Weird. Could it be an otherworldly creature that spawned into ours and is now learning to use the human body, or could it simply be an elaborate plan by someone who knows that the trail cam stationed there simply to try to scare its owner? Personally, I believe that the creature we're seeing in this footage is not of this world because it's very unlikely that someone would go to such lengths to scare the owner of a trail cam in the middle of the night deep in the woods. I highly doubt it. But tell us what you think in the comments section. Imagine venturing through the dark and unfamiliar woods at night with the knowledge that a sinister creature is stalking your every move. Now picture lifting your eyes and coming face to face with a chilling sight like this, a distant figure with glowing eyes. I don't know about you, but personally, I made it abundantly clear on this channel that I'm not one to stick around and find out what such a creature looks like or whether it poses a danger. I'm grabbing my belongings and getting the hell out of there without hesitation. The individuals who captured this footage were simply clueless about the creature's identity. Based on the knowledge of mythology and a careful examination of the video, I'm highly convinced that the group in question were being stalked by a spectre. If this entity is indeed a spectre, as my team and I believe, then those who encountered it are incredibly fortunate to have escaped with their lives at all. This footage gives me the creeps. Listen closely and you'll hear a woman's voice in the background, capturing what seems to be a typical scene with her son. At first glance, everything appears ordinary, but let's direct our attention to the tree behind the boy, just beyond the motorcycle. Did you see that? Take a look again. Was that a limb? What could that be? Initially, I considered it a snake or a prankster, but upon closer inspection, it becomes apparent that the mysterious figure emerging from behind the tree is covered in hair. Snakes are scaly and humans seldom have hair on their hands. What then could it be? A juvenile Bigfoot, an ape, or a Pombero? We'll leave that up to you to decide. As if we haven't had enough surprises today, take a look at this trail cam footage. Is this some kind of wildlife circus show? Three mountain lions were captured moving on sticks. To be fair, it appears to be a fence, but it's still undeniably impressive. I still don't know what's going through their minds, but maybe they were having a hard time catching prey and decided to look around or perhaps wait and lure them in. No matter what, I bet circus masters and animal trainers would love to have this kind of spectacle in their shows. If this proves anything, it's that it's better to observe animals in their natural habitats than to confine them in circuses where they're forced to perform tricks using cruel methods and training. What do you think? When it comes to blending into their surroundings, chameleons are the undisputed masters of camouflage. But what about a Bigfoot that doesn't want to be seen? Watch this video. Did you see it? Or rather, can you see it? At first glance, it may have seemed like you were simply gazing at trees and their bark, right? But what if I told you there's a Bigfoot there? Have a second look at the zoomed-in footage. Did you see the face? If you missed it earlier, that's because the elusive Bigfoot was making every effort to remain hidden. It's truly chilling how effortlessly they blend into their environment, almost becoming one with the surroundings. 
The person behind the camera only spotted the Bigfoot because they were aware of its presence and ventured out to investigate. If not, the creature would have stayed hidden. This makes us wonder how many of these creatures actually live right among us without us knowing. The answer, I fear, might be more than we count. Next, we visit Utah, Arizona border where Bigfoot's are rumored to roam. Before you laugh off the idea, take a look at this image that was taken from the area. You see it, don't you? Those footprints are anything but ordinary. They can only belong to one creature, Bigfoot. These human-like ape creatures seem to be popping up everywhere. A group of hikers found this huge human-like footprint embedded in the mountains. The tracks were not only large, but also impressively deep. It's evident that whatever left them must have been immense and remarkably heavy. Given the fact that no ape or human or even bear could have left those footprints, we're left with one culprit. Yes, Bigfoot. But what do you think? Still on the subject of large and ape-like humanoid creatures, take a look at this next footage. At first glance, the footage looks like it's documenting the lush greenery we see. After a second or two, you start to notice that whoever the cinematographer is, he seems to be focusing on just one area. In another second or two, you see it. There's a large, ape-like creature standing there. It's almost as though the creature is intelligently hiding behind the tree so it's not noticed. As earnest and sincere as its actions might be, it's clear that it needs to do better because we can certainly see it. But you have got to wonder, what humanoid creature is that? The skeptics might not like to hear it, but I really believe that's a Bigfoot. Before you call it a hoax and write it off, take a second look at it. You see it, don't you? If it wasn't a Bigfoot, why would it be hiding like that? How many creatures do you know with that level of intelligence? How many more do you know seemingly look like apes and walk like humans? Only one creature rings a bell, right? The Bigfoot. When I hear about the color green, the first thing that comes to mind are groves of trees, vegetation, algae, moss, etc. You name it all and they will always come in different beautiful shades of green, be it naturally or artificially. When it comes to this next capture, it appears there's more happening in the footage than meets the eye. There appears to be a face in there blending perfectly with the rest of the foliage. Do you see it? You have to wonder what's the creature and why does it blend in so well with the green? Is it some sort of cryptid or are we dealing with something more sinister? It's hard to tell since none of us have ever had any experience with whatever creature it is. Is it some sort of cryptid or are we simply dealing with an otherworldly creature? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments section as we'd really love to hear them. Imagine stumbling upon laminated posters of missing persons eerily taped to trees in a secluded and rarely visited part of the woods. How would you know how to react? I know I would panic and quickly get out of there. But against all instincts, the owner of this footage felt an irresistible urge to document the chilling sight, pulling out his camera to capture what lay before him. As he filmed, a wave of fear washed over him gradually realizing that these were not random postings, but deliberate placements by an unknown individual. How recent, he couldn't tell, but he rushed out of the place to get to the police. The police swiftly arrived at the scene, investigating the situation, collecting evidence, and questioning James, the owner of the footage. Surprisingly, they seemed unfazed, dismissing it as a harmless Halloween prank. Given that it was early October, they assumed that it was an extreme Halloween prank or something despite the undeniable reality of the missing persons depicted on the posters. James returned to the area after a few months to investigate the site. In this subsequent return to the area, James made a bone-chilling second discovery. The missing person posters had been replaced with ominous no-trespassing notes. This confirmed his suspicions. There was absolutely no way this could have been an elaborate Halloween prank. James could have also sworn that the laminated posters he saw must have been there for months before he discovered the site. 
To him, coming across them before Halloween was merely a coincidence. But what do you think? Do you think James is making a big deal out of nothing, or could something sinister be going on? Perhaps a serial killer at large in the woods? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. If you're someone who believes that fairies belong solely to the realm of fairy tales, then you might want to rethink that notion after watching this astonishing trail cam footage. Take a good look. Doesn't it resemble a fairy gracefully lifting off? The size seems just about right, and the video doesn't appear to be edited. Even experts seem to agree with this assessment. Could this be the actual first ever real-life footage of a fairy? It's a mind-boggling possibility. However, as usual, the scientific community, the ever-vigilant skeptics, don't seem to share our view. They always find a way to discredit and dampen the excitement of every paranormal discovery we stumble upon. And, well, who can blame them? So what's their explanation this time? According to them, the phenomenon captured in the footage is attributed to a large lunar moth. These creatures are typically green in color, but since the trail cam footage is in black and white, we can't definitively say if it's a lunar moth or not, but it probably is. But here's the big question. Could this be the real deal or a genuine fairy caught on camera? I thoroughly doubt it. It's more likely just a lunar moth, as the scientific community insists. We eagerly await your thoughts and opinions. Share them in the comments section below. This video clip was taken in the woods with trees on the far ends of the vicinity. In the clip, we see two creatures lying amid the woods looking like they've passed out. The footage reveals a long white snake and a humanoid figure with a pure white complexion and deformed legs, giving an otherworldly appearance. It appears as though these creatures have come from another world, suggesting the possibility of interdimensional collisions bringing their inhabitants to Earth. While many of us held on to this ideology, quite a number of individuals in the paranormal community who saw the footage believe we're dealing with an albino Slenderman, a cursed man and his companion who was turned into a pet snake. They believe this duo was discovered and defeated by explorers. While this makes for a more intriguing and interesting tale, I'm leaning much more towards this being an encounter with either interdimensional or extraterrestrial beings. What about you? If you've made it this far and haven't hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, could you do that before we go on? Thanks very much. It means a lot. Coming back to the episode... This fortunate homeowner managed to grab their camera just in time to witness a truly awe-inspiring, albeit frightening, display of nature's power. It all started with a heavy storm brewing on the horizon. Dark clouds gathered ominously, and rain began to pour like a torrent. Then, in an instant, a blinding bolt of lightning cracked the sky. The target of this electrifying spectacle? A massive tree. As the lightning struck, a brilliant burst of flame erupted around the point of impact. It was as if nature had decided to put on a spectacular show, and it did so with breathtaking yet terrifying displays of its sheer force. This footage serves as a powerful reminder of the immense power that nature wields, capable of both astonishing beauty and devastating destruction. It leaves me both terrified and excited. What about you? This image was posted by a man online. At first glance, it looks like a harmless photo of a tourist capturing and documenting his travels. But look again. Do you see it? There's an ape-like creature just behind the man. As expected, everyone who saw the image couldn't help but draw the man's attention to the creature captured in this photo. He had taken the picture in the Piranha Delta area, and according to him, the particular area he took that picture is known by the locals to have ape-like creatures that are as common as they are elusive in that area. Well, you can imagine the excitement that sparked amongst Bigfoot enthusiasts who were wondering if the elusive creature could be there as well. Well, Bigfoot has been linked to North America. Not many has considered its presence in South America until now. Turns out, that's a mistake, as there was a lot of evidence in South America about the existence of Bigfoot. 
Early settlers and explorers of the region had encountered strange, hairy, and giant men and named their towns after them like Patagonia, which is not too far from where the picture was taken. Patagonia had the largest variations of these creatures which we suspect to be Bigfoot. But let me tell you, these larger variations of the creature are even more elusive, and can you blame them? They are probably Bigfoot after all. Perhaps it's time to unite Bigfoot enthusiasts from around the world in an international Bigfoot convention. Who knows what we might uncover about these mysterious creatures from the various civilizations. If there's one thing the Bigfoot and Sasquatch family hate, it's being caught on camera. But despite their aversion, we've a captivating trail cam capture to show you. Take a close look and you'll notice a blurry image of a white ape-like creature. Now, can you guess where this intriguing image was taken from? It's a challenging one and I doubt anyone got it right. Brace yourself for the surprise. It was actually taken from none other than the city of Portland's official website, portland.gov. But here's the twist. They've refused to disclose the exact location where the trail cam captured this fascinating Bigfoot. The reason? To protect the creature, of course. So what do you think? Could there really be a Bigfoot roaming out there? Or is this all part of an elaborate marketing ploy to lure us to visit Portland? And why is it that whenever anybody captures pictures of Bigfoot or photographs or videos of Bigfoot, the images are always blurry? I'm eager to hear your thoughts. Have a look. Do you see it? It's red skin and what looks like horns on its head. Many in the paranormal community who first saw this image believed it was a very rare capture of a demon. After a few days of examining the footage, however, they concluded it was fake and stated that someone was trying to mess with the community. If there's one thing about the paranormal community, it's that they don't take hoaxes lightly and they threw it out. Personally, I can see why they think that it's fake, although I do believe demons are real. It looks like a CGI creation which could have fooled me if I was not exposed to the subject already. But what do you think? Could this be real or is it fake? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Speaking of angels and spirits, this trail cam footage caught a spectacular sight. As you can see, a deer walks across the field in the middle of the night when all of a sudden a bright light shines, leaving three orbs floating in the footage. As beautiful as this sight is, you have to wonder, what could those orbs be? What was that flash of light? Was it a car passing by? Could it be light from an alien ship? Or is it the manifestation of something paranormal happening in the area? Could they be angels hovering around the area or some other kind of spirit beings? Well, we can't say for sure which it is, but anyone who follows this channel knows that the presence of orbs in such strange circumstances is typically an indication of paranormal activity. When it comes to this footage, however, it's hard to deduce what it was or what could be responsible. What do you think, though? It's no surprise that humans and animals are not the only inhabitants of the Earth, and footage like this is proof of it. The video was retrieved from a trail cam. In the still of the night, two strange entities walk by like they own the place. One appears taller than the other. They appeared ghost-like, so it was very hard to make up what they really looked like. However, you can see what looks like a head on both entities, and those heads look inhuman and horrid, like something out of a horror movie. I know the owner of the footage won't look at the forest the same after seeing this footage. Who knows what else roams the woods and our streets at night when we go to sleep? Definitely not me. Next, we have a trail cam footage I can only describe as spine-chilling and, quite frankly, scary. The trail cam, initially placed to capture footage of wildlife in a typical forest setting, ended up capturing something far from ordinary. Confused? Watch the footage. The footage starts off with some coyotes walking into the frame of the camera. One coyote swiftly disappears from the frame, while the other takes center stage. But if we pay attention to the left side in the darkness, a pair of glowing eyes appear. As if that was not enough, another pair of glowing eyes also emerge beside the first pair. 
These two pairs of eyes appear to be floating on a foggy, ghost-like body, almost like smoke. The apparition lacks a discernible form, but you can see a swirling mass of smoke with its glowing eyes embedded within. Just as the last coyote leaves the frame, the ghost-like entities vanish without a trace. What in the world could that have been? Well, we don't exactly know. In the paranormal community, however, there are debates about their identity. Some speculate they could be nocturnal hunters, others suggest they might be skinwalkers, and a select few believe they originate from another realm. What do you think they are? One look at this and paranormal enthusiasts might speculate it's a cursed creature, a skinwalker, or a shapeshifter. But let me burst your bubble. It's simply a deformed goat. Meet this remarkable goat born without its hind legs, yet thriving and living just like any other farm animal in China. Experts believe that this deformity may have been caused by a calcium phosphorus imbalance due to the mother's pregnancy or other complications. Most younglings do not even make it out of the womb alive, and if they do, they barely survive a week. But this little guy here happens to be among the strong few. The deformed animal can move gracefully and balance itself on its front legs without a problem. Just look at this little guy go. This is a miracle on two legs. Take a look at this image. What do you see? Almost everyone in our team who saw this thought it was some exotic cat. But would you believe us if we told you it was a raccoon? Yes, you heard that correctly. A raccoon. According to the owner of this trail cam capture, it's an odd-looking raccoon that's often spotted in the area where the trail cam was placed. They initially thought it was some paranormal creature, but later found out it was just a raccoon suffering from leucism. For those unfamiliar with that condition, it's a rare genetic mutation that affects the pigmentation of an animal's fur or scales or feathers. And that, not the paranormal, is the reason the raccoon you see looks the way it does. But do tell us which type is your favorite. The usual dark raccoon or this exotic white-looking one. If you walked into the woods and saw men whiter or paler than usual, you'd surely think that there was something wrong with them. You're even likely to think ghost or a vampire. But what happens when it's not humans or animals that you have seemingly gone white? More specifically, turkeys. Well, there are two types of responses. The first is awe and wonder at the magnificence and uniqueness of these birds, which many might share. Picture this. I'm out exploring these mysterious woods, and suddenly I stumble upon a flock of white turkeys feeding. Can you blame me for a feeling of surge of adrenaline? I certainly think that my life was in danger. The scientific community does not think that anything strange or paranormal is happening here. Instead, they believe the turkeys we are seeing are suffering from an uncommon mutation known as leucism, which is known to result in reduced pigmentation, giving birds white or patchy feathers. This explanation does seem logical, although part of me still wants to embrace the mysterious and paranormal. But what do you think, though? Have you had any experience with birds of this nature? Can we call this video a comic relief moment? While it's true that an unexpected animal falling into the water can often be amusing, it becomes challenging to label it as such when we witness the panic and concern of the calf's parents. Even the elephants in the neighboring pen are displaying signs of worry. This footage reveals a side of these magnificent creatures that many don't often get to see. Yes, they're large and powerful, but they also possess an incredible level of empathy, an aspect this video perfectly exemplifies. In the footage, we see a house that's situated in an isolated part of an estate in Scotland. The footage was taken by tourists who were feeling brave and decided that an abandoned house in an abandoned part of town would be a fun place to hang out. In the footage, we see the tourists walking along and recording an eerie-looking house. They aren't bothered because it's supposed to be an abandoned house. That was at least the case until they saw movement in the house. They focus on the window with the movement, and sure enough, someone's there. Not the kind you'd expect, but they're there. 
The person looks out of the window and they see her or it because it has pale white skin as if it has been dead. It has dark patches around its eyes and maybe a horn. It's hard to say because whatever it is retreats as soon as it realizes it's been discovered. Instead of running from the building, these tourists run toward it, and I can't help but wonder why. But what do you think of the whole ordeal? Tell us in the comments section. Next, we have another video clip capturing the curiosity of animals. In this footage, we see a camera being licked by what could be presumed as the legendary creature Bigfoot. The footage begins with a striking red hue, which sets an eerie tone. As it continues, we witness what appears to be a tongue licking the camera screen, an unexpected sight in trail cam captures. The uploader claims this isn't the first occurrence and believes he may be dealing with a juvenile Bigfoot playing with the camera equipment. It may sound like a stretch, but what are your thoughts on this? Share in the comments section. Starting off today's video, we have something that's both odd and intriguing at the same time. I mean, what would you do when you were walking in the woods and you came across this? At first glance, you might think that it's an odd-looking deer, but after a few seconds, you're likely to be spooked by the figure. It looks like a deer, yet its features are disproportionate and, quite frankly, disturbing and ungodly. The individual who captured this footage believed he was looking at some mutated or heavily deformed deer. Some even believed he could have been dealing with an otherworldly creature. The logical and non-believers in the supernatural believe that this is nothing more than a decoy. For those unaware, hunters like to create dummy versions of deer whenever they're hunting to attract other deers. Yes, that's a thing, and it does work. But there's no way this could be one of those. Or is there? We want to hear your theories. What do you think this strange creature could be? Now let's dive back into the captivating world of Bigfoot. Picture this. Residents of Seattle suddenly find themselves haunted by eerie and unexplainable noises echoing from deep within the nearby woods. For those who live close to the woods, the sounds were nothing short of bone-chilling, striking fear and unease into the hearts of those who dwelled close to the woods. At first, many speculated that these mysterious sounds might be the work of bears. However, this notion was swiftly discarded as what they were hearing was more ominous and much louder than anything they're accustomed to hearing bears make. What then could be responsible? The answer is in the footage you see currently. If you look closely, you'll see a dark, humanoid, yet ape-like creature trying to get away, knowing that it might have been spotted. Although the residents managed to capture additional footage, it's been heavily zoomed in, adding to the challenge of deciphering the enigmatic figure within. The residents, however, know what they had seen. They understood why the sounds they heard were so ominous. There was a new big boy in town, and his name was Bigfoot. Can you see the lion in the footage? Well, if you can't, you're already dead. I'm sure you didn't see it coming, but that's how deadly mountain lions can be. They're masters of disguise and would always go for the kill once they're sure of it. If you stood where the trail cam was, would you have survived an attack from this mountain lion? This footage was captured of a front porch layered with brown wood and brown leaves, having fallen probably during fall. Nothing seems to be off about this video clip until a presence is noticed walking unperturbed around the vicinity. It appears as a shade, perhaps an effect, but there's no visible physical figure. This goes on with the presence of moving angle after angle non-stop. This leaves me pondering what this presence might have been in its living days. After close inspection and cutting down the unnecessary, though possible, things it could be, it's noticeable that this is definitely the ghost of a cat. Must it have been the owner's cat that met an unpleasant end? What do you think about this? 
Returning to our trail cam videos, at first glance, this trail cam capture appears to be an innocent shot of the horizon with a raccoon running around the field. But take a second look and you'll notice something intriguing, an array of lights illuminating the sky. What could those lights possibly be? The owner of the trail camera was just as clueless as everyone else. However, upon sharing the capture with others, a common suspicion emerged. It had to be aliens. The next capture, which shows the lights descending closer to the ground, only solidified this belief among all who witnessed it. But could this be aliens, though? The scientific community, always eager to burst the bubble of paranormal enthusiasts, proposes two explanations. The first is that it could be a satellite, but this hesitation was revised due to the movement of the lights. The second theory suggests that the lights might be cobwebs. Interestingly, other trail cam users tend to agree with the cobwebs theory. But what do you think? Cobwebs or aliens? Let us know in the comments section. So, I asked ChatGPT a simple question. What are the chances of moss growing into the shape of a gnome? And you know what it said? It said it's almost impossible, but guess what? We've got some mind-blowing footage straight from the woods that defies all odds. A lady was out exploring the woods when she came across this mass of moss shaped like a gnome. Naturally, this caught her attention and she tried to take a closer look. Little did she know that this is where things took an eerie turn. She swore the moss moved and looked at her. Unfortunately, the video doesn't really capture the movement, leaving us desperate for a glimpse of this mysterious moss gnome in action. Could it be that the moss didn't move at all, or the video quality is so poor that we can't spot the subtle movements of the moss? Whatever the case, we can't help but wonder how the moss grew into that shape. Is that a hint that gnomes are actually real? Could she have been exploring an area where they live? Share your thoughts with us as well as any encounters with them in the comments section. Next, we have this capture from a trail camera set up in Virginia. Take a look at the capture. Yes, we know it's blurry et al, but what do you see? Hard to say, right? Well, there are some who think that it's a lizard, others think it's a turtle, and some think it's a snake. But here's the kicker. The trail cam is situated on a tree at least four feet from the ground. That makes you wonder about it being a turtle. The uploader of the footage, however, refused to mention where it was, leaving it up to our imaginations. Given that West Virginia is known for its snake populations, we're leaning toward it being a snake. After all, the snakes in West Virginia are also known to climb trees. But do tell us, have you ever captured an image like this on your trail camera? If you have, what creature was it? When I hear fairies, I think of Tinkerbell and her crew, quite a huge contrast from what was captured in this footage. This footage was taken by a group of kids who went playing at the playground. While playing near a tree, their attention was drawn to a peculiar creature fluttering in the air, resembling what they initially thought was a dragonfly. Driven by curiosity, the brave kids made the daring decision to climb the tree and get a closer look at the intriguing insect. Little did they know they were in for an unexpected surprise. A humanoid creature flew off of the tree, and they realized all too soon that what they thought to be a dragonfly was an ugly-looking little creature. Scared, they climbed down and ran away. Unlike the CGI go In a remote vicinity somewhere in the woods, we notice different shades of green grass up onto the path where it breaks into an entire forest with many tall trees in broad daylight. Wonderful for a stroll. Initially, this video seems to capture the beauty of nature, but it takes an unexpected turn when we spot something in the woods. Something big, something large, and quite frankly, unusual. At first glance, one might be tempted to think we're dealing with a bear, but after a few seconds, it becomes evident that the creature is no bear. The creature has a large body frame and brown fur and appears to have its back to the recorder. While it might initially resemble an orangutan, orangutans are typically found in trees, and this creature's size seems much larger. It doesn't make a move and remains perfectly still, even while the uploader of the footage continues to record. You know I love my Bigfoots, and I'm tempted to think that this creature is yet another one. But if this is a Bigfoot, why is it out in the day? 
Does it not care about being seen? Or am I simply seeing a Bigfoot because, well, I love the creature so much. Perhaps I could use a second opinion. What do you see? Venturing into the woods under the shroud of mysterious noises is an adventure not many would willingly embark upon. However, this group of friends proved to be brave and inquisitive souls. I feel like that deer is following us. I can hear it in the woods. If I were in their shoes, I might have opted for the safety and comfort of home, but these intrepid individuals chose a different path. As they traversed the forest, one of them couldn't help but notice a deer tailing them closely. You can hear the mention of this peculiar companion in the footage, a gentle reminder of the curious and unexplained events unfolding around them. But their journey took a spine-chilling turn when an eerie, screeching sound echoed from the depths of the woods. So light. Yep, 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 yep. The fear in their voices and the urgency of their footsteps was palpable as they made a hasty retreat. It raises a perplexing question. What could possibly emit such a hair-raising, otherworldly sound? It certainly wasn't a deer, and it bore no resemblance to the cause of known animals. The mystery lingers, leaving us to ponder the enigmatic nature of the forest and the secrets it guards. Next, we have footage from a trail cam, which appears to have captured something even more sinister. Don't believe me? Have a look. Did you catch that? Emerging from behind the tree, you can see a pale figure's head. At first glance, the figure appears human-like, but upon closer inspection, you notice its unnaturally smooth features and absence of ears, leaving you questioning its humanity. Furthermore, its neck is extraordinarily elongated, and its eyes are dark and sunken, almost appearing hollow. Upon closer observation, appearance, you can discern its emaciated and bony. What kind of creature is it? It's very hard to tell. From my perspective, it could be a rake, although there's a possibility of it being a skinwalker. As enthused as the paranormal community is with these predictions, there are many who believe it might either be a person in a costume or in edited footage. Based on what you see, what do you think? This footage was taken by some kids who went into the woods to explore. As adventurous youngsters, they set out in search of something exciting. But little did they know they were in for more than they bargained for and count themselves lucky to have returned unscathed. Whilst exploring the woods, they spotted a massive beast moving gracefully between the trees. It was dark furred, very muscular, and walking on two feet. At first glance, they mistook it for a gorilla, but upon closer inspection, they noticed its upright stance and powerful human-like strides. It was at this moment that they had a sudden realization. They knew that they had discovered the elusive beast. They knew that they had discovered Bigfoot. However, their excitement quickly turned to fear, and they instinctively sought refuge. They remained hidden until the creature was out of sight, because they couldn't tell if it'll be hostile or friendly. They believe they were lucky to have made it out alive, given how terrifying and intimidating the creature looked. But what do you think? Are they telling the truth, or could this be an attempt to get famous? Let us know. Next, we have this odd capture by a trail cam set up in the woods. Instead of capturing wildlife, however, this cam captured the shadow of something all who have seen the footage have been trying to figure out. Have a look. Yep, that's a shadow. The shadow appears to belong to a creature moving away from the trail cam's location. Upon closer inspection, it becomes challenging to discern the exact nature of the creature from the shadow. Some experts speculate that the shadow might belong to either an ape or a bear. But do these creatures exist where the footage was taken? Your guess is as good as mine. That leaves one contender, the Bigfoot. While relying solely on the shadow makes it challenging to determine the creature's identity, members of the paranormal community are convinced that it's a Bigfoot deliberately evading the trail camera. In the world of endless possibilities, it doesn't seem too impossible now, does it? But what do you think?
Under the stormy night in the sky in the USA, a peculiar scene unfolded, captured on video for all to witness. Ooh. As the clouds brewed with lightning and thunder, an inexplicable event occurred. A beam of light shot across the sky, leaving in its wake a portal-like opening that radiated a bright glow. The phenomenon persisted for a while before eventually fading away, leaving viewers astounded. Various theories circulated regarding the nature of this event. Some pondered the chance of blue beam technology, a concept linked to supposed government experiments. However, the vividness of this spectacle raises doubts as to whether it's a hoax or real. Hold on, Jack. No, I gotta rewind. And with that, we end today's episode. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, uh, thanks for staying with us. If there are popular trail cams out there you want us to look at, please mention them in the comments section as we'll be reading. Also, you can send us a mail of strange and unexplainable videos you may have recorded yourself. All you have to do is forward them to classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll upload them in our next episode and give you the credit, unless you want to remain anonymous. We can't wait to see the odd things that you might have captured. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends and family. See you in the next one.